Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Madison. I am a first year, second grade teacher, and today is classroom setup day two. Alright guys, I am back in my classroom. I brought in a few more things. Believe it or not, I do have more stuff. I had some things that I ordered online from Amazon and some stuff when I went shopping at Target dollar spot. So I'm not really sure where I'm going to start today. I'm thinking I'm going to start with maybe bulletin boards. I printed off some book labels, so I might put the book labels on first. We'll just see. Okay, I bought this super cute tapestry off of Redbubble. Um, it says between the pages of a book is a wonderful place to be. It's super cute. It's really big, but I want to hang it on the wall above my library. I pulled this table over so I could stand on it. I should probably wait for help, but I'm just going to try to do it on my own. I successfully got it up who knows if it will stay I'll show you what I used for it we have like concrete walls so you can't tack it so I bought these gorilla glue mounting tape squares they're super sticky so I would think it would stay on there I might put some packing tape on the back just to like really stick it down but I think it's so cute I have some twinkle lights I'm going to put around it Okay, I bought these gold LED string lights from Target. This is what they look like. Um, I did not realize that it was like only a couple feet. Um, yeah, that's definitely not gonna be enough to go around this whole thing. So I'll find another use for this, but I'm going to have to buy some lights that go quite a few feet to be able to fit around the entire border. All right guys, I got distracted per usual, but I wanna show you what I've been working on. I printed out some labels this morning and laminated them. I originally was going to categorize my classroom library by genre, but as I was putting away my books, I have a lot of books, chapter books and picture books. I just thought organizing them by genre would be too crazy. I have so many of some books and then like only a couple of other books and I like to have all of the bins full. It's just way better when it comes to occupying this space. Um, and so I just ended up printing out some labels that just labeled picture books, chapter books. I have book bin numbers on them. So I'll show you what I have. So over here we have chapter books and so I literally just labeled them chapter books. Second graders do read chapter books. Um, there are some higher level um, second graders that will dig into these. There will obviously be some that don't. That is why I also have picture books. I just like to have a lot of differentiation in my classroom library. Um, these ones are over here. These were just the ones that were too big to fit in these book bins. But if you see, I just labeled the book bins by number. I thought that'd be a lot easier. It still kind of organizes them, makes them look cute, but I don't have to go through and completely categorize every single book. I don't know, maybe one year I'll do that. I just didn't want to. These ones, um, I kind of just fit what I had left. They're like a variety of chapter and picture books, like lower level chapter books are in there. And so I just printed out a little label that says variety, chapter and picture. There's one down there. And yeah, I really like how it turned out. I made these kind of pastel color because that's kind of my theme this year. I just wanted like pastels all over my room. Um, I actually added these labels on my TBT, so check out my TBT, it's linked down below and you can print these out, edit them to say whatever you want to say. But yeah, this is the classroom library so far. I really love it. I also added these signs on here from Target Dollar Spot. Who knows if they'll stay there, but I really like them there. I like the colors. I think they just go really well. Here's a little overview of my library so far. These are all picture book, or sorry, these are all chapter books, but I'm probably gonna put these away like in a cabinet just cause it's just not cute right there.
was quite the task. I forgot how hard it is to set up bulletin boards alone. So I'll show you what I have so far. So I just used the white wood better than paper bulletin board paper. It's a little wrinkly, but once it has stuff on it, it'll look much better. Um, and then I love this little black and white banner with the eucalyptus. I ordered all of this off of Amazon, just so you guys know. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do this exact same bulletin board there because I think I'm running out of eucalyptus, um, but I might just have to order more because I think it would look cute to have two of the same bulletin boards. We'll see. Literally, that's all I was short. <laughs> I don't have any scraps to cover it. <laughs> so I literally am gonna have to buy a whole other roll just to put it right there. <laughs> of course. I am really happy with how these look. I think they'll be really cute. I think I'm gonna do this one as like an information center. So this one will have like our calendar, our class jobs, stuff like that on it. This one's going to say, look at our work. And that way I can put student work on there. I'm thinking I'm going to do like a makeshift bulletin board right here as well and this one is going to be probably like um, procedures and routines right here. Okay guys, I just put up this paper right here. I have a few more of these black and white borders coming in the mail so I'm going to put that same border around it and um, I'm not quite sure what I'm using this bulletin board yet but I just wanted something else since I had the wall space so yeah. I, I don't know, I almost wish I did the wood, pink, and then wood, but that's okay, because these two will be similar, and then this one's gonna be like a totally different use. Like, these two will be like work-related, this one will be more like procedure-related, so it's okay that it's different color, maybe it'll catch their eye. This is what it's looking like right now. Now I'm going to start working on these two bulletin boards. I think I'm just gonna do the white wood for both of them. I might do the pink for my teacher one. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do on that one yet. We'll see. decided to do a light pink border with this. If you can't tell, I kind of have like grays and pinks as like my bulletin board theme. <laughs> um, I keep putting theme in quotes because I just don't really have like a general theme anymore for my classroom. I used to have a lot of cactus stuff, but I don't know, kind of grew out of it. I just like more like pastel colors now. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I put this here. I was thinking it might be cute if I put that along the edge, but I don't know, maybe that'd be like too much. What do you guys think? I just think it looks a little boring with only the pink. Um, I don't know, leave below in the comments what you think. Would you put that there or just leave it as pink? I don't know yet. I also have this white star border from the Target Dollar Spot. I don't know if that would look cute going all around it. I don't know guys. I'm not like loving that. I'm not really loving that either. I don't know. I have a few borders coming in the mail, so I might just wait until I get those. I don't know yet. Okay guys, I put some of this shiplap up on there. I 
think I like it. I don't know. I mean, I already put the pink down, so I could just keep the pink underneath to like shine through a little bit. But I mean, would that be cute to have the shiplap go all the way around? And maybe I could just do both of these, the wood with the shiplap. I don't know. I'm having such a hard time deciding on borders this year, but I don't know. Leave down in the comments. What would you do? I think I like that for now. I think it's really cute and I think it goes kind of with the vibe of the room. I'm gonna do this one now and see how I like them together. like it um this one's a little lopsided I might have to redo it I'm probably too lazy I probably won't <laughs> let's be real but I really like it I like the wood and the shiplap I think they're cute this is going to be my word wall this is going to be the objectives wall and we have these over here I really like them so far graphic warning coming at you I just stapled my finger guys <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing, but I just think that's so funny. And it hurts actually really bad. Okay, I'm sorry, I just had to show you guys. I'm sorry if any of you are really grossed out right now, but that's the life of putting up bulletin boards. Okay, I did this one off camera because I just wanted to put it up quick. I did my little teacher desk bulletin board. I'm gonna have my name on it and a bunch of pictures and stuff like that. But I think this turned out really cute. I used the same white wood bulletin board paper and then I doubled up with the black and white striped and the black and white stars. I actually really love it. So now the only bulletin board I have left is that one. So since that one's going to have my Bitmoji classroom rules on it, this one's going to have like mask rules, what not to do with your mask, stuff like that. I might do this one pink because this one will match that one kind of like they're both rules <laughs> if that makes sense so yeah let's go and do that one up um I'm not sure I might wait because the border that's coming in for that one I'll probably want to do the same border on that one so I'm probably just gonna keep it like that for now I do not recommend buying just any bulletin board paper because I usually buy the better than paper bulletin board paper which is the best but they didn't have a light pink one so that's why I bought these ones which are just some generic brand off Amazon but they're literally just paper so they rip so easily every time I cut they would rip whenever you're trying to staple it they rip so they're really hard to work with so just stick with the better than paper bulletin board paper it's way easier hey guys I'm trying to decide what I want to do now I mean I have all the base of my bulletin boards up I'm thinking I could go ahead and put up all of like the titles the headers of my bulletin boards and stuff like that because I have it all cut out um, with lamination so the only problem I'm running into is we have cement walls and I was hoping to put the letters up on the wall instead of like covering the bulletin board because I have a lot of space above I'll show you like right here I was hoping to put you know information center right here look at our work right here um, but I'm just not sure how to put it up there because obviously I can't staple it, can't tack it, nothing like that. So I have a hot glue gun, but I'm not sure if it would stick on there. Other than that, I have like tape, so I could just tape it up there. So that's something I'm gonna have to play around with. Let me know if you have put letters up on like cement walls before and what you did, just because I wanna make sure that it stays up there and it sticks well. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and start playing around with it and see what works. Okay 
right guys, as you just saw, I just finished my word wall. I think it looks so cute. Um, so I literally did this all on PowerPoint. I have this exact um, word wall template up on my TPT. Like I said before, it's linked below. Pretty much everything you see me putting up today is on my TPT, so you guys can get it for yourself. Um, so yeah, I have these just really cute pastel letters. The white is really hard to see in the yellow, so I may have to fix that, but then I just hot glued some of these hooks on there because I have some binder rings that I'm just going to hole punch through um, paper and put words on, um, and then I'm going to have those hanging. So hopefully by beginning of school, I will have a bunch of words hanging from each of those hooks, but for now, I think this actually looks so cute. It looks so much better in here now that I got those bookshelves out of the way. I can kind of see everything over here now and it, the space just looks so much more open. So I'm really struggling with this pink bookshelf. I'm just not loving it. <laughs> I'm tempted to paint it white. Let me know what you guys think. I got it for only $10 on Facebook Marketplace, so I like the pink at first because I do have a lot of pink in my room, but I don't know. I'm just not loving it. What do you guys think? Alright guys, I have just been working really hard trying to get some stuff up, get some stuff together, so I will show you what I have done. Just put up these hand washing steps signs right above the sink, and then I also put together this little sanitation station with a bunch of stuff in it. I put my pencil sharpeners over here. This is all done. I put some stuff over there. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it there, but for now. I put some little blue things on there. Just not sure if I'm gonna keep them, but they look cute. And then I put all the book bins in their little cubbies. I ran out of white, so I had to do blue over there, which my OCD is going a little crazy, but it's okay. As you guys saw earlier, I did the affirmation station mirror, which is really cute. And then I have all of my bulletin boards done. I switched up this area over here. I put this in the corner. I put this table over here. I still think I might paint this white. I think it'll just go better. And then I filled these up with books. But yeah, this is what we have. By the way, <laughs> the hot glue did not stick. My hooks keep falling on the ground. So that's all right. I will just have to put them up a different way. just finished this bulletin board. I think it looks super cute. It says, look at our work. And then I'll just be able to display all my students' work throughout the year. I originally did want to put that on the cement, but it doesn't take up too much space. I will be able to fit all my students' work because I should only have like 17 or 18 students. And it was just so much of a hassle to figure out how to get that to stick on the cement. So I might end up doing the same thing here.
move that burlap over to the right um, so that you can see the E a little bit better. But I love this so much. I think it's turning out so cute. This will be my objectives wall. All right, I also just put up my little name banner on my desk wall. I might take those apples away. I feel like it's kind of clashing, but I think it looks super cute. Right now I'm just working on separating my whiteboard. Um, I just like to have my whiteboard organized. So over here I will have this schedule. So I have my schedule right here, but I don't know what my schedule is yet. So I will put the schedule with the times right here. This will be for writing. And then this will have my voice levels. I lost the one. I don't know where it went. I looked all over for it and I can't find it, so I may have to reprint that, which is kind of annoying. And then obviously I have these little push lights, which once I put batteries in them, I will put right here. And then I'll have a light next to all the numbers. And I think that is a great visual for what the voice level should be in the classroom. Hi guys, I don't remember when the last time I filmed was because I have been getting so much done. This was like the most productive day. My classroom is really coming together. I'm so excited seeing it all start to come together and it's starting to look like a real classroom. If you can see behind me, it actually looks like a real classroom now. So I am done for the day. I'm so tired, but I am really happy with everything that I got done. And so I will show you guys everything that I got done around the room real quick before I head out. So on this side of the room, the only thing I really did here was put in all the book bins and their binders. I still need to take that down. That was the previous teacher before me. She had her word wall up there. I'm not doing my word wall up there. So I'm going to take that down. And eventually I will have um, a sign that says um, student center right here. But then coming around here, I have this up right now. It's unfinished, obviously. I still have to put the border around it. It said it should be coming in the mail by Saturday. It's currently Thursday. So this weekend I will come up here, finish this bulletin board and this one because I will be using the same border on them. Then I finished this bulletin board. This is going to be our work wall, so I'll have all student work on there. This one will be the information center. Tonight I'm gonna to go home and make the sign that says information center and put it right there. This is all curriculum I have yet to put away. <laughs> all this stuff that I have out, I know exactly what I'm doing with it. This is door decor. That is all going up there. This is all for the first day. This will go out in the hallway and then these are all like number lines alphabet and stuff like that which will eventually go up there so i'm just keeping it here for now so that i don't lose it like i said in my last vlog if you haven't watched my classroom setup day one i will have it linked below go check that out the school is going to get rid of the kidney tables in the classrooms we can't have it because they take up too much space and we need more space obviously for social distancing now. So this eventually will be gone. I just have it here now. It's nice because I can set my stuff on it. But I am pretty much done with my library, which is crazy. It's only day two. <laughs> I thought this would take me way longer. I love this tapestry so much. I think it works perfectly with my room. It looks so cute. Then I have my chapter books, picture books, little one over here. Here's some flexible seating. I'm not sure if I'll keep this stuff here yet, but I really love how it's looking. I was able to take those bookshelves down, so now it looks a lot better. I was able to put up my sanitation station sign and little kit. Then I have my hand washing signs. My objective board is coming together. My word wall is looking great. I'll have to re-glue on the hooks because they pretty much all fell off. So I'll find a different way to get those on there. This furniture situation is probably temporary. I'm still not loving it. So we'll see. If you have recommendations, what do you think I should do with this area? I'll leave them down below. Then I have my rocking chair. 
that bench will be there. I'm waiting to put batteries in those tap lights. Then I will glue those right there. I still haven't found the one. I'm keeping my eye out for it, but I may have to reprint that off. The schedule will go here. This is obviously not my current schedule. I don't know what my current schedule will be, but I just put it up there for reference so that I knew the amount that could fit in that little spot, but it looks really good. I'm gonna put my lights up. Then my desk area is looking a lot neater. Um, all of this will not be on my desk. I'm probably going to hang up some stuff right here. I'm going to put some pictures of me right here. Look who stopped by. <laughs> <laughs> so that is it for today. I got a lot done. I will be back tomorrow um, just to do a few extra things. And then I'll be back this weekend once my borders come in the mail. But other than that, that is it for day two. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe down below so that you stay tuned for more classroom setup vlogs. Um, day three should be up tomorrow, so keep an eye out for that, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.